No. Let it end. No, no or yes. No. What's the difference? So this is this is the underwing of this butterfly. This is the flowing. So what difference do you see? I mean, I guess, I guess in sense you can maybe you know, try. Yeah, yeah. Attempt, no? It's the same. The she said it's the same. Anyone said it's not? Not sure. Okay. Or at the other Yeah, actually that 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 serves my purpose. If you're getting confused, it's good because they're not the same butterflies. And uh, yeah, so there are certain differences and the most basic difference is that you know, this is a, the body is red in this case. So you don't see the body here because the photos are a little dark, but the body is black. Okay. So these are two different butterflies and of course the wing patterns are a little different. But you know, these are fast flying butterflies. Okay. So they will not pose for you like this man, for you to kind of analyze the patterns and stuff. So they are fast flying butterflies. So at a glance, you won't really know whether it's a, uh, you know, which butterfly it is until unless your eye is trained. Okay. So and that actually serves a serves a purpose basically because you know what this butterfly is doing is that it is mimicking this. It's trying to and why does it mimic? Why why does mimicry happen? It happens because you know to protect itself, right? Okay, so it's protecting itself by limiting this. So now the second question is, why would it do that? And why? What is so interesting about this butterfly that you know the other one actually mimics? What, any any cases? Toxins. Yes, toxins. So this one is uh, is toxic, uh, or rather I would use the word unpalatable, okay. uh, because it has certain chemicals in its body. Which uh, makes it unpalatable to birds, uh, you know, your garden lizards, calories. Even they sometimes catch it, they you know, let it go. Uh, spiders, very interestingly. Uh, this, and then what happens is obviously because this butterfly looks like this one, uh, those predators will you know, let this go as well. Okay. So it's a, it's a way of uh, protecting itself. Now, the third question, uh, why is that this butterfly is toxic or uh, Any guesses? So if it's toxic, it's got some chemicals in its body which makes it, makes it, you know, toxic. Right, so then, how do you get it? From where do you get it? Plants. So, you know, like the entire tiger family that we saw, where the adults take in several alkaloids for plants, uh, in most cases, the uh, chemicals which are synthesized in the body happens at the caterpillar stage. Okay, so, when the egg is laid and the caterpillar is feeding on certain plants, now these are uh, you know, like in the case of carotids, milkweeds, or these ones which in before we say that we are you know, still looking about that matter, have certain chemicals which the caterpillar takes from the plant and then you know synthesizes its own chemicals which make it toxic. So there are certain butterflies which you know like for example this butterfly they take from the lime plant. Okay. So poor guy doesn't get any uh, you know, toxins. So what it does the simple thing is to make this. So this was uh, uh, described by uh, uh, scientists called Bates and that's why this is this kind of this type of chemical. But, uh, Palatable species mimics the unpalatable one, it's called as Petisian mimicry. Okay, so that's the name given to a kind of mimicry. Now this mimicry is sex mimicry. Okay. Only the females mimic. 